So as we shuffle each other out of our seats here at Carlisle, I'm going to come you through the exhibitions at Car Carlisle Juvenile Hurdle for four-year-olds over two miles. So Devon Dumpling for Hollywood Hint and Stu Gray's Landmine, Martin Leland's Regal Mount, David Robertson's Treble Spark, Munas Sen's Viking Art, you're going to like it for Josh Sutherland, and the Lion da Damsel for Stu Gray, Martin Leland's Corsten's Pride, Darren Thompson's Duo Trapani flirting around for Leon van Rensburg, Kubi Ashu Maru for Pedrick Hogan, Craig Beckler sends two, Polar Lincoln Royal Pawn, and Pedrick Hogan's Yesabu de Clermont makes up 14 over two miles. They're racing here at Carlisle. These four-year-olds get to the first. They'll get a rip, although there was a mistake there by Regal Mount as he clattered the top of that flight. D doesn't lose too much ground. And the two that are just leading us, but reluctantly, are Poland Lincoln and the Lion Damsel. It's actually Anne the Lion Damsel. I just spelt, I missed out the N <laughs> when I was naming that horse. Slow old pace being set here by nobody, and it's Polar Link that finally settles and goes on from Kobayashi Maru, and the grey up against the rallies, and the Lion Damsel, although flirting around, has pushed himself into the rail position, and Viking Art and Devon Dumpling from Munas and Del Hinton. Trouble spark the widest all the way here is this Corsten's Pride. He's got a Yabalu de Clermont as company, as well as I think that's Duo Trapani, but you are going to like it towards the rear. Just in front of those is Treble Spark. Landmine's also in sort of mid-pack. But it's Polar Link that's going to lead them down to the next. Around the Lion Damsel, Viking Art, and flirting around. The ground on the outside is Regal Mount. And up on the inside again on the rail is Landmine. And it's going to be taken up by Viking Art. So it's Viking Art from Polar Link. And Damsel and flirting around as they go over the third. A great big jump by our leader there, Viking Art. For Munas, he's got himself a six length advantage from and the Lion Damsel. With a grey regal mount against the round now is Polar Link, followed through by Landmine. Kobayashi Maru is about four or five wide, flirting around, has dropped back a little bit. This Corsten's Bride still running widest of all. And just at the rear is Royal Paul, just off and on the bridle a little bit there. So Viking Art's going to be joined by Anne the Lion Damsel as they go over the fourth, they take it together. So it jumps at the rear. Yeah, Sablu de Clermont didn't get over it well. So it's Anne the Lion Damsel leads him into the fifth. Takes a length advantage from Viking Art. Polar Link follows through. Here comes flirting around and you're going to like it. Treble Spark and Regal Mount. So Anne the Lion Damsel leads him around the final turn to line up for the judge from flirting around on his wide outside. Polar Link moving up on the rail. You're going to like it. Also treble spark and regal mount. But Anne the Lion Damsel heads for home first inside the final half mile from flirting around regal mount and Polar Link. You're going to like it running on this. Corsten's pride's gone widest of all but still making up good ground now. So as they get to the six, oh and a mate staked by the lead Anne the Lion Damsel. Damsel just shuffles him straight back and leads Regal Mount out in front, along with flirting around. Polar Link, you're going to like it. Wider still is Corsten's Pride Treble Spark trying to run on, but Regal Mount leads him over the penultima. Got a length advantage from flirting around, and the Lion Damsel is coming back up on the rail. Duo Trapani on wide. You polar Link as they go over the last, and it is Regal Mount that still leads from flirting around, and then the Lion Damsel. These three still heading off. Polar Link and Treble Spark. Devon Dumpling's trying to catch up, but Regal Mount. He's holding off this flirting around, half a length, Regal Mount flirting around, and the Lion Damsel running on Treble Spark, but it's going to be Regal Mount, holds on for flirting around, and the Lion Damsel. Good win there for Martin Leadham. I think it's going to make a mistake at the last, only half a length behind those, so Regal Mount takes it 28 to 1, a nice price from flirting around. Leon van Rensburg and the Lion Damsel for Stu Gray was third. Treble Spark for David Robertson was fourth and Devon Dumplin for Hollywood Hinton got up for fifth.